Welcome to my void, everybody. My name is Liliana, also known as the Trans Fiendling, and today we're going to be continuing Hellgate London. Now, we just got through the very, very fleshy interior of Techsmith 314's mind, and today we're going to see what's going on in this station. So, this is the station that we were getting to, the uh, Southwark Approach Station, and so this quest is a little bit different in that, you know, I didn't cut to the next time when I was, you know, fighting my way through the stage to the objective because there's nothing to really fight here. It's just a person to talk to. So, that said, I'm going to talk to him and then cut to the next objective. Rourke Farrell. Farrell. Arfan said you would be coming. Did anything touch you en route to the station? I suppose it doesn't matter if you'd been infected. You would have succumbed long before you made it here. We're enforcing quarantine. No one gets in or out from here from now on. Give me a few minutes to oversee the lockdown, then we can talk. Feel free to mingle with the few survivors we have left, but stay the hell away from that witch Sir Singh. I suspect the Hercabalists are the ones responsible for this mess. Well, that's rude, and given who you're talking to, I wouldn't suggest being too snippy and mean to Cabalists. Asshole. It's go time. Arfon explained why you've come here, but I'm afraid I won't be able to help you unless you agree to help me. Large boils emanating or emitting toxic gas have infected Warden's Grove. Take this container and bring me back a sample from a boil in Warden's Grove. I'm betting the plague stems from those pustules, but you'll need to run some tests. One last thing, I'd stay away from Cersei and her cableists. My techsmiths know enough about demonology to know that the plague is demonic in nature, and no one but a cableist could have pulled this off. Do not trust them. So long. I mean... Sir Sing, Sir Sing. You just told me to do something, so you know that means that's the less I'm going to do is actually listen to you. Especially when what the thing you told me to, is being an asshole against cableists. You look rad. I want that armor. I love everything you have going on. Absolutely. Sir, our. Oh, not not our fun. Whatever your name is, you can go fuck yourself. Pointing at that NPC. Oh, you are definitely going to be the thumbnail for this episode. Wonderful. I know you, Lily. Your name is fast becoming legendary. I understand Rourke has enlisted your help in procuring a sample of the infection. It's my belief that my resources are more capable of determining the source of the epidemic as well as possibly developing a cure. Perhaps you'll speak more of this in time. Good journey. Thank you. Oh, you are just phenomenal. I love her. Okay. Her? I I, th I think the other person... Yeah, I, th I think she was gendered by the other person. Right? Don't get me wrong, I have a cool look going on too, but like... Okay, I do like my chess piece more than hers. I just wish it was purple. Oh yeah, it's go time. <laughs> I'm not one... I'm not what one might describe as intolerant, Lily. Religion, science, the occult teaches are her own. I'm objective. Oh god, you're one of those fucks. I am objective. And that objectively leads me to consider- Ugh, I hate you. Consider facts, not conjecture. My techsmiths have learned enough about the plague to determine that it's not a natural disease. It was born of a demon who, besides cableists, would be able to engineer such an infection. Maybe the hordes of devils outside! I won't act until I've procured definitive proof that one of Cersei's freaks is behind the outbreak. <sighs> when you have a sample of the plague, you showed remarkable resistance thus far, so what you can do about getting me what I need. I don't here. like you at all, dick. <sighs> Alright, so, I'll see all of you darlings in a moment. I'm going to go get to one of those, uh, pustules and collect a sample, or, you know, we'll see what we need. Alright, and we are back. Now, we're getting a video transmission. Let's see what people have to say. Oh, that hell counter is very low. Ooh, Sir Singh! Greetings, Lily. I implore you, do not end this communication despite what you may have heard. I am an ally, not a foe. It was a rogue cableist who instigated the creation of the plague. The gas emissions from the boils is demonic in nature and thus outside of Rourke Farrell's comprehension. I have at my disposal uh, the means with which to expel the plague to do so, I'll need a boil sample, bring it to me. Okay, cool. Oh, I didn't have my power sets, or my uh, powers equipped, that's why. I was like, why am I just not using powers?
All right, so it was a cable list, but it was a rogue one, not one of Sarah Seaton's organization. That somewhat doesn't surprise me that it was a cable list that ends up being the cause because I don't know. The vibe so far has seemed that most of the cableist NPCs we've seen so far, with the exception of Lucius, Lucius, Lucian, I don't fucking remember, uh, have been ladies, and so it just feels like, well, of course it's actually the woman's fault after the guy says it's her fault and not a demon's fault or a devil. All these fucks are devils. I claim no kinship with any of these jackasses. <laughs> For anyone new here, I'm fully aware I'm actually, like, you know, a human woman. I just have thoughts on the extra natural <laughs> and a bit of my own, I guess, lore set on uh, devils, demons, fiends, and similar. Short version, these fucks are devils because demons don't really have a desire to really rule, we just want to have fun. Fiends just want to have fun, oh, no, because fiends also encompasses non-demons. But you get the, you get the gist. So, so find a sample, is that, do I, do I need to use that item? on it like I did the one at the beginning. Also this has become kind of my like fidget game for lack of a better term. So I am a bit higher level that's because my current like fidget activity is just running around in places I've already done before. So if I seem like I'm higher level and you know I have more cash than you would expect that would be why. Okay, now, so I don't need to actually use it, it's just something that will get automatically used. Apparently. Also, I hope all of you had a wonderful October. Wonderful Halloween. I'm very excited for anyone who is only watching this and is not watching my Dishonored series. Uh, I will be taking a trip soon, so there... There shouldn't be a drop in content, specific, especially for this game, because I am recording this game. Never mind. So there. So if you're seeing this, uh, there definitely will not have been a drop in content because I'm not used to being ahead of the game, and I just realized I that this episode will be dropping on the day that I leave. So, uh, for anyone who's just here for Hellgate, a thank you. Why? Like, don't get me wrong. I love this game, but I. You're only here for Hellgate? I'm flattered. Um, but yes, uh, I will be leaving from, well, given this drops on, uh, this should be dropping on the Thursday that I leave, I'll be leaving from today till the 15th. Spoiler alert, I am recording this, not on the day this comes out. Because I got ahead last week, whenever I was recording, and so... Instead of instead of recording this the day before it, it releases, like I've been doing previously, because grad school is hell. Also, I loved September, but fuck, did that absolutely just destroy my time. I got ahead on Dishonored for one week, and then I decided that I was going to use my time. Like, like I, I did get extra time once, like one week, on my night to record Dishonored. For anyone who wants a peek behind the curtain, my typical pattern is record. Oh god, let's see, long, long, longs on Tuesdays, shorts on Fridays. So my typical is to record my long episodes on Mondays, and then the short episodes on Thursdays. That way, if 
shit hits the fan if I can't record. <laughs> like, this past week when I recorded Dishonored the same day it came out. Uh, <laughs> um, I have plenty of time for, like, editing and, uh, you know, rendering, specifically rendering. Thank the void. My computer is very, very powerful. And it t takes a... Do I not destroy it? Anyway, um, it doesn't take as long as I feel it would on my old machine to... Oh, okay, there we go. As it, does, as it would it to record an episode on my old machine, or other machines. Or not record, render. Okay, so we've got that. I just want to check this building for any potential loot. Also, I wish I'd been recording because I very much so uh, had a moment that justified my habitual box destruction. Because I I was going around destroying things, as you know, per typical for Diablo-esque games. And for, you know, a reminder, this was created in the aftermath of Diablo 2, and people weren't sure if there was going to be a Diablo 3, and the creators, or at least some of the creators of that game, want to be like, hey, we want to keep this sort of fighting hell thing going. And honestly, I'm very glad they did. I, uh, I would love just, like, a total... <sighs> what was... I guess not even, like, a... Not, not a remake. I do... I love Hellgate as it is. But, like, I would love like, a modern game studio to take this concept of, like, demons invading the human world. Like, the the normal, like, well, normal-ish. But, you know, like, demons invading the world in, like, a modern or future modern setting. And just running with it, just given the advancements in gaming we've made and given, like, you know, we have learned from past mistakes, and in general, things have improved in some ways. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, this is just product of the era. There's there was lots of reasons why Hellgate didn't do phenomenally. But, I just think with the various improvements and everything that have happened, it would be really fun to see another game with these sorts of things going on in them. I'm curious, do I have an option? No, I do not. Also, yes, I, for anyone who's noted, who notices, I don't know how close attention y'all pay yet. And this is also somewhat for, like, because, for those, those who haven't heard, I absolutely am intending on getting, like, my hope is to get super big so that, A, I can just do this for a living, B, so that whenever people are like, oh yeah, like, the big YouTubers, like, we have one of, we have a big YouTuber who is, like, specifically a big gaming YouTuber who is trans. That was kind of my thought, my start in self, my thought process. Yes, really, that's arrogant. That's fine. Um, so for anyone who's going back and being nitpicky, yes, I do tend to play on hell difficulty because whenever I'm, like, fidgeting, like, using this game as a fidget, because I am so overleveled that it is kind of boring to just play uh, on normal whenever it's areas I've already been before. But whenever I'm actually playing for you all, I don't want to slow things down by, you know, dying or, you know, just various things. So I put on back on normal so we can get through the story. Because I understand this game isn't the most engaging to watch. MMOs from this area tended not to be. I appreciate your cooperation, Lily. I assure you my my aid is... My aim is to aid Rourke Farrell, not encumber him. As I have said, the toxic emissions from the boys are demonic in nature. By analyzing the sample, uh, I'll be able to compare it to a catalog of demonic samples my cables have compiled over the past 18 years. I explained to Rourke that such resources are not at his disposal. This was the only way to help him. Give me a few moments to, s moments to study the sample and ponder what should be done from here. Okay. Is it literally a few moments and you're going to have a little thing pop up over your head in a second? Am I going to go two feet and then it's going to pop up? No? Alright, well, let's investigate this. Nope. That's utterly useless. Let's see, who should I talk to? 
ba 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 Murmur. Nope. Okay, fine. Uh. <laughs> Mother. Sarsing. What a little thing you are. Your voice changed. I definitely heard one of your voice lines, and it was very, like, Catan-esque. Very, very hissing and sibilant. But that was very- I mean, that was almost like my typical voice whenever I'm being taunting or teasing. The gas matches- it's almost like the voice I gave Queen in uh, Deltarune. The gas matches poison sword and bilious sacks carried by demons known as fire snaps. The renegade cableist manufactured the gas and released it on a large scale, and the boils are but one of its manifestations. To ensure the plague would end you after the gas dissipated, he loosed a demon that carries high amounts of the plague in its most potent form. I infused a track with gaseous extracts of my, your sample, but it is incomplete. My specialty is demonology, Rourke's is technology. He has the resources to finish the device. Give my modest device to Rourke and explain our situation to him. I hope he'll put his objections with me aside for the greater good. Fine. I hope so! My thoughts aren't- or my hopes aren't astronomically high. Come here. Oh, I guess you're not a Templar. You're a you're a hunter. Okay, I'm slightly less. Hi there. You are no better than Sir Sing and her litter of demon worshippers. I could rip your soul out of your body, you ungrateful little mortal. Don't you realize that the cableists have every reason to prevent the demons from turning to hell? All arcane energy in a world is strengthened. When a new source of energy enters that world, thus the cable is thrive on the demon's presence. Orphan gives you high price, while I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I'll finish our single device. I hope for your sake this leads you to the source of the plague. They're activated, and oh my god. It points to Barge House. Orphan said the sister is there. Make haste. I'll dispatch myself. <laughs> god. Okay, here's part of why I wish, like, I would like a, like, modern game. Because, like, you can't get the proper inflections for this just via text because like this is totally one of those like times where the person's room it's like help you oh my god and just that's amazing she's like they're activated oh my god it's at the house oh god the sister's there come back now you hear oh that's your voice piss off travel to barge home Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so that's gonna be a bit. So I think, oh man, this was a lot of not a whole lot this particular episode, but that's gonna be it for now because we're hitting about the uh, edge for the lower end of what I'm wanting to do, and I'm wanting to have a few shorter videos for those who, again, um, prefer shorter content because uh, I know not everyone has half hours or multiple hours to just consume content. So. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And please, again, if for no one else's sake, for mine, please be kind to yourselves and one another, because you're all very important. And for now, it's time for some very special thanks. Just kidding, not yet. Um, so I don't know when in the void this popped up, but I load into the next zone, and I felt this is appropriate to fit into this episode, so I'm going to. Um, I'm assuming this happened whenever I gave her the sample, but what the fuck? Uh, Sersing silently studies the sample. Her soul bursts into flames as she embraces the power found within the Well of Midnight, Hell's source of arcane power. So again, another reason why I really wish that this, like, either someone takes, like, this game, the, these concepts, like, like, the Well of Midnight, um, like, everything that we hear at the beginning of the game, maybe not some of the language, and just, like, remakes it, because, like... That would be such a really badass animation for an NPC to go through just unexpectedly when you're just turning in a quest. And uh, I just, I think this game could benefit a lot from the modern advances we've made just in 3D model, like just in general game production technology. So, uh, for realsies this time, thank you everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful time. I'm very excited. Now it's time for some very special thanks. A special thanks to Darius, the first of my horde of Abyssians over in Kofi. If you'd like to be on this roster, go over to my Kofi and check out the different offerings options. The benefits range from early releases, turning over your immortal soul, choosing characters for me to cosplay, personalized self-care messages, and much, much more. 
Each and every one of you are very important, and thank you so much for watching. And until next time, don't forget to hydrate, masticate, and medicate. And I'll see you, darlings, in the next video.